So chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know about the IBM Model M. Um, been made since the 1980s, still made today. This is a second generation with some funky uh, Sabre keycaps for American Airlines reservation systems. Um, buckling spring design. They uh, Most of them have two-piece keycaps, most I say. Um, but what if I told you there is a new Model M? Well, there has been for a while. Don't mind my, look out there, golf balls. Um, that's for my typewriter that I had to relocate temporarily so I could record this. Um, this is what most people think of when you say the new Model M. It's made by Unicomp in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, this is a 2017, 2018, I actually tell you, 2018, um, <clears throat> what's it called, their Ultra Classic. Still uses the two-piece keycaps. Um, comes in a little bit different colors. You get this white and uh, gray color scheme, but that is not the newest Model M. Recently, they have released a new one, and uh, I was on Unicomp's site after watching in a video where they had a, um, <clears throat> uh, I think it was LGR, had a, bought a case from them, one of the industrial gray cases. I picked up one of those, but to save on shipping, I went ahead and ordered the quote, new Model M that is, um, <clears throat> that's uh, available, uh, where they've made re new tooling and everything. I've also pre-ordered the um, new 10 key lists that they've uh, supposedly going to be out any minute now. So let's have a look at the new Model M. Okay, we have a box. It doesn't really fit in the frame. <laughs> There's the white balance off. Uh, but this is what it came in, um, manufactured, Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know if you can see that date, 10-16-2020. I have yet to open this, so let's see what we've got. Get some unboxing action here, because I don't do anything subtly. Just kind of take that, close that off, and open up the box. Uh, so they are still using the same kind of black casing but allegedly they've redone all the tooling so some of the slop uh, should be out of the keys and everything uh, if you've used the ooh, they, they ain't shy about the tape uh, paperwork let's get this out of the way so this is the new Model M, that's the Ultra Classic. The new Model M is uh, a bit bigger. So let's open this up. And again, apparently the, uh, the, 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 the 10 keyless will use the same sort of casing too. So it's kind of a preview for that. Boom, all right, out of my way. Ah plastic. So we have uh, built-in cable still. I went for the USB version because why not? Um, hmm. We can FCC statement. We, we don't really need that. So if we compare it to the Ultra Classics, definitely a different sound. I don't know if you can hear that here. Let me hold you up. So a little bit different noise, um, cable, a little bit thinner, maybe, I don't know, um, about the same kind of cable, kind of, uh, uh, I like the keycaps, I like this color scheme, I'm partial to it because my, uh, that's the way I got my Ultra Classic here, um, I just have Tux keycaps instead of Windows ones, I didn't order that on this, so, but it feels very similar. Um, about the same amount of play in the keys. Let's see what we've got here. These are not two-piece keycaps. Uh, these are one piece, it seems like. I can't seem to, yeah, those are one piece. Um, can I pull any of these off? They're on there, good. Hang on a second, let me get a key puller. Okay, I'm back with my key puller. Let's have a look under the hood here. And yes, these are indeed one-piece keycaps. 
Um, good, bad, or ugly, it's just what it is. Uh, I actually kind of prefer the one piece for the typing feel. I've got a couple of other models, um, newer, because they've gone back and forth between one piece and two piece over the years. I've got like a 1995 Dell branded Model M that's got the two piece. Um, I mean the one piece and it types. I actually kind of like the feel of the one piece better than two piece. They've gotten rid of the little thing here. Uh, this is definitely tighter. This case is, let's see, granted this has some years on it now, but uh, yeah, uh, they don't have the little notch there anymore, whatever that was for. So yeah. Uh, Labels the same on the back, model M plus five volts. Same sort of, same sort of plastic flip out feet as the ultra classic, I think. Maybe a little bit thicker. Um, but we can compare it sound wise to the uh, old school model. And, uh, my golf balls. So let's kind of Pull this up here and put the right there. Okay. Okay, so here is compared to the old school Model M's, a little bit smaller than your classic Model M. Um, this definitely feels, and the keys are pretty tight. I mean, they're old school Model M tight. This has got the original barrel plate in it, and this is a 19. 88 uh late 80s board i think so second generation so feels pretty tight let me do you a sound comparison so sound wise i think i like this better um sounds like they're still using the mylar mats on the back of these whereas the old ones had the rubber mats i think i like the fuller sound of the old one better but again you know you're looking uh this is you know these are getting harder to find more expensive this you can plunk down some you know 90 bucks on unicomp's website and have one next week um brand new it's with no broken rivets no membrane problems warranty all that stuff I uh, missed the long space bar. Of course, my Ultra Classic doesn't have that either. But yeah, that's the preview. Kind of the first little bit of look. I'm going to type on it for a while, and we'll come back in a few days. And through the magic of editing, it'll be no time at all, and we'll get you some uh, uh, feedback on it. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, we're in a different location. We're up in my, my attic lab area. I have some brighter lights this time, um, but I have been using the new Model M here as my primary keyboard for the last few weeks. Um, took me a little bit longer to make this video than I thought. Um, <clears throat> verdict, short uh, and sweet and to the point for you people who just want to click off the video and go do something else. If you're in the market for a buckling spring keyboard and you just want it with USB and to just work, I no, no issues with this at all. It is fantastic. Um, it's got a good feel to it, a decent build quality for a modern computer. It's made uh, in, in, in the U.S., I really don't have any complaints about it. You could do far worse for a modern mechanical keyboard, in my opinion. It doesn't have media keys and stuff like that, but if that's your thing, you probably aren't looking at a Model M anyway. Uh, it doesn't type as nicely as the old school M's. Um, I have several. I've had several buckling spring keyboards all the way back to the Model F. Um, I know them kind of backwards and forwards at this point. Uh, this is a 1988. Model M here that I have from my collection that I repaired a little bit. Um, it doesn't type as nice. It's not as smooth. The sound isn't as, as deep and as good in my opinion. Um, but these guys here, you're going to have a hard time finding in good shape. You're probably going to need to do a bolt mod because of the rivets. You may need to replace the membrane. Um, even then, you know, you're looking at way more money than you're going to put in one of those plus parts, plus time, plus labor. Whereas this, you get it, take it out of the box, slap it down, don't need a converter, and go. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the red logic, that's the, the arithmetic that you are uh, dealing with there. Oh, we've got a ladybug. It's that time of year. Ooh, knocked it off of the screen there. Uh, we got the, I just wanted it to kind of not get in the shot. All right, 
I hope it's okay. It's okay. Okay, ladybug is fine. So um, I just kind of spooked it. Um, it's that time of year. Those things are everywhere. Welcome to living in the woods. Uh, so where was I? Oh yes, before the bug intervened. Um, recommend, not as good as that. Now, looking at these two, uh, this is a 2018 Uni Unicomp um, Ultra Classic. <clears throat> Comparatively, uh, the build quality on this is much improved. I will give them that. You can kind of look at the flex here. This this doesn't really twist as much as this. You can see that kind of, that really gets wobbly there. Um, certainly both of them flex more than the classic, The not the ultra classic, the actual classic. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I don't like really, uh, two things I don't like about the new Model M over the ultra classic. First thing, um, blue LED for the lock lights. You can see it there versus the Ultra Classic has a green LED. Um, the green LED I find to be um, a little less obtrusive, a little less intrusive. I, I should say not obtrusive, anyway, intrusive. Um, and it just looks better. This kind of bleeds through the sticker a little bit. Doesn't look as nice, uh, in my opinion. Um, the other thing is the footprint. This is a little bit bigger footprint. I like the sculpting on this case a little bit better, um, just the shape of it and stuff. I do like that they got rid of this little um, nugget placement holder thing. I don't know what to call that, but it's not there. I do like they got rid of that. I do like that they brought back this channel um, along the edge here. Uh, just, But overall, I like this, the sculpting and shape of, of the Ultra Classic uh, a little bit better. Um, that being said, uh, my Ultra Classic does have two-piece keycaps. These look like they're coming with one-piece keycaps now. That does make a little bit of a difference in the sound, which you will hear later, because I've done a nicer sound demo than just holding the lapel mic over the over the keyboard um, to compare all three of these. All three of these get compared. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, sound difference, keycap difference. If you like the two-piece two key, two keycaps, um, maybe look at an ultra classic i and see this is where i'm not sure if unicomp is selling these now with the uh one piece keycaps like these then that's really not an advantage either way um my guess is yes because these keycaps are compatible is that both of these if you bought both of these brand new today they would both have one piece keycaps uh, i like the feel of the one piece keycaps i have a like a 95 model m with the dell branding strangely enough uh, that has one piece keycaps and i actually kind of like the typing feel of those better than the two pieces uh they they have a different sound they're not as deep i want to say um but sorry for a little bit of sniffing there it's uh i don't i don't have i don't have the uh, the virus i just um it's at that time of year <clears throat> a little bit of allergy stuff but um it, it, it's it's really it's really six of one half a dozen of the other my preference is for the ultra classic just on the on the uh if you know from a purely aesthetic point of view um from a build quality point of view this is much better uh, if i was buying one today i would probably go uh go with this and solder in some not blue leds <laughs> uh that's that would be my advice um I mean, it's kind of a toss-up. I don't think you could go wrong either way. Um, again, uh, both fantastic. Uh, it just depends on your taste. Uh, they're making a 10 key list based on the new Model M's design. You know, that's just going to have the numpad removed. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I have that pre-ordered. It may be here one day um, when they ever get all the all the tooling and stuff kind of sorted out. But... <clears throat> That's neither here nor there. I'll kind of do a video about it when it comes. Um, this makes me hopeful that that will be good. This is good. Um, this makes me hopeful that the 10 keyless will not be uh, bad. So I'm glad that I'm glad that they're they're putting investment. I was a little concerned because you know Unicomp is you know their quality control has been up and down sinusoidal sinusoidal throughout the years, and depending on where and when you bought the keyboard. Um, maybe this will make things more constant now that they have put some time and effort into kind of revamping their tooling and everything. So I'm hopeful. Uh, again, 
I think you could do a lot worse for modern keyboard. This is probably one of the better built modern keyboards, I think. Um, and for like 90 ish, 100 ish bucks, it's a steal, um, I think, for a mechanical keyboard. Oh, our ladybug friend's making an appearance. Come on. It, it, there it is. See? Yeah, yeah. Nobody like those things. I tell you, those things are everywhere. Um, <laughs> that does, they just get in all the windows and, and everything. I don't, it, it, I think they're trying to hibernate for the winter. I've got like three of them buzzing around right now. Um, <clears throat> again, welcome to living in the woods with nature. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh there he goes. Uh, distractions aside, <laughs> I would hold either of these. You'll be good. Um, again, if you like this video, let me know. If you have questions about any of these boards, let me know. Uh, following this is a sound demo. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you whenever I make another video, I guess. Uh, bye. Bye. Do I wave at the camera? How does this work?